As demand rises, this food bank says it had to make choices. We were kind of overwhelmed by how many groups were showing up day after day. Situated in Brampton, a city with many international students, the St. Louis Outreach Center started turning them away, citing the federal government's own rules. To be eligible to study in Canada, you must prove that you have the funding to support yourself. If they're going to multiple food banks and they're hitting up the churches, this is now a matter of abuse. But is it a matter of abuse or is it a matter of need? To get a study permit, the Government of Canada requires students to have enough money to support themselves beyond tuition. But for most of the country, including Ontario, that number is $10,000 each year or $833 a month. It just feels like these food banks don't quite understand um, the, the crisis many of these students are in. Students can work to supplement their income, but there are limits. A lot of these students... Um, financial situation was also based on them thinking they could work 20 hours a week and they just cannot find work. So now the funds they had were running out. Another food bank in the area says it never turns international students away. But the man who runs it is giving those that do the benefit of the doubt, saying they may be misinformed and trying to protect their supply. But he says something needs to change because they're seeing an influx of international students too. On a weekly basis, we have 150 kids. It is challenging, it is growing, and it is growing at a pace we need to really look into that. A matter made more pressing, with so many now in the same situation. Ali Chiasson, CBC News, Brampton.